Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. We are gathered here today to uh, witness Riga Cup 2017 under 15th age group. Uh, eight teams competing in this uh, arena. Eight teams competing in another arena. Uh, to follow the second stream, you will need to find Riga Cup YouTube page and connect to the stream from Skonto Hall. So Group C and D will play their first two group games, uh, two games for each team today, eight games in total uh, we will see. Uh, and uh, today's first game um, it will be Tallinn Kalev, team from Estonia will play against team Ullen from Norway. And as we can see The teams are ready to start. Teams have selected their sides. Uh, team Ullen will play this game in white uniforms. Team Tallinn Kalev in blue uniforms. So uh, under 15 age group as I mentioned. So none of the players are older than 15 years of age. The format, the time format uh, is still two halves by 25 minutes each, so 50 minutes in total for each game. So about eight hours for eight games we will be with you with this live stream. If you have some comments, questions, something to add, you can do that in a live chat section of this YouTube stream. I will try to follow this live chat section as much as I will be able to to uh, answer you uh, to comment to learn from your comments uh, maybe to learn from the mistakes that that you will uh, see in my commenting so as we can see the game has kicked off to uh, team Ullen with the possession now and a foul for first foul in this game for team Tallinn and Ullen with a f fast free kick starting from defense now the ball is in the midfield Ullen trying to pass it around but losing the possession now and Tallinn team Tallinn on the attack and it's a foul clear foul no no mistakes there so free kick for Team Tallinn and the ball leaves the field throw in for Estonian team still Tallinn with the ball now the ball leaves the field what will be the referee's decision still Tallinn with the throw in and the ball leaves the field for the first corner of this game so first corner for first corner for team Tallinn. Uh, let's see how they will use their chance. Crosses it in, but defenders are there to clear the ball. And a counter attack by Team Olen. And defenders have no options to clear the ball outside the field and Will it be a free kick or a throw in? And the referee says it's a. And a substitution. Yes, a substitution now. 14 Tallinn. I'm not sure why, but. A little pause for us to uh, sort things out. That means we will have a, a bigger edit time at the end of the first half. 
Yes, yeah, so everything is cleared, substitution is made, and Timo Lern still on the attack, playing it back to defenders. And still defenders playing around, trying to find open gaps to pass into. And now this long kick is very unsuccessful. Uh, Tallinn, Kalov player. I saw that a goalkeeper for Ullern has left the penalty area, came out of it, I tried to chip him, but I'm not precise enough, and the game still continues. Uh, and Team Ullern on the attack, uh, passing it around on their defensive side of the field. So now a bit longer pass in the midfield area, successful, maybe a attack can arise, but no, this pass is incomplete, And but Talin Kalev loses the ball as well, so st still Team Ullern with the ball, chance for a shot, and the shot is too, too weak uh, for a goalkeeper to have any problems with it. Two weak and straight at the goalkeeper as well. So, keeper catches it, but shortly after, as we can see, the ball is lost again and again. Team Muller on the attack, now in the midfield, uh, playing short passing, patient uh, football. Playing it back to defenders now. Trying to move forward from the midfield area, now chance for a shot again, now it's blocked. Talin Kalev with a chance to counter attack. A nice true ball and 3-2 to two defenders. A nice attack from Talin, chance to cross. Gets inside the box, crosses it low and another corner. Another corner now for Team Talin. Defender block, defenders block this cross. So, Team Tallinn with another chance to finally open the score, about six minutes in the game. Still a scoreless tie, and now chance for Team Tallinn to, to open the score. Crosses it in, header is no good, and only defenders there to clear the ball, and clears it. A long and the goalkeeper for Tallinn comes out of the box to take it. And now Tallinn loses the ball. And now it will be a corner, the first corner for Team Ullen. So they will have their first chance to show how good they are at, at set pieces. At corner kicks, crosses it too, too long, and the ball doesn't leave the field, but is played out of the box and out of the danger by Team Tallinn. Team Tallinn now on the counter attack. Now left winger is stopped by a defender for a moment, a throw in, still the ball is with Tallinn, tries a long throw in, Tallinn maintains possession but loses the ball shortly after so, a through ball, a long through ball attempt by Ullern is not good, and once again a dangerous a play by defenders and goalkeeper as well for Tallinn, but it resolves out. Uh, luckily for Estonian team, no mistake made there. And now a half a mistake from Team Norway, uh, from Team Ullen, from Norway, a goalkeeper. 
uh, which ends in this possession with a corner kick. Corner kick once again for Team Tallinn, third one in this game already. And the third chance for Team Tallinn to be the first to open the score. And only defenders in the box after this cross to clear the ball. And a foul for Team Ullern's attacker. A clear foul, no, no discussions there. Clear foul, yes, and Team Tallinn Kalev with the free kick now. And Team Tallinn now with the ball, playing it around, defenders passing it and and losing the ball, and losing the ball. And now Team Ullern with the possession, but not for long as well. Tries a through ball, nice through ball in the box, chance for a cross, a low cross is blocked and taken by a defender who tries to clear it out and is successful Team Ullern with the counter-attack chance which is lost shortly after and the Estonian team again with the possession and they lose it as well and now Team Ullern with the true ball chance for a cross or a shot it's a shot and the keepers uh, first deflects it and then catches the ball uh, for a save uh, nice work by Tallinn goalkeeper and Tallinn goalkeeper with the ball to try a long free kick which goes directly to the other keeper so keeper passing it around one to one to another and still we have a scoreless tie about 10 minutes uh, played in the first half and now a chance for Estonian team near the box and uh, this pass uh, is not precise so the opportunity wasted for Tallinn and Olern now with the ball passing it around the chance to counter attack for them tries a long shot which is blocked and taken by team Tallinn Kalev defenders as well And now it's a foul for Estonian team and the ball is with Ullern and they are passing it around in a defensive area in their own side of the field now maybe moving forward no still passing it back still moving higher in the midfield area trying to pass the ball around maintaining the position of the ball and still the ball is with Ullen they are controlling it controlling it uh, more than their opponents but what is the uh, purpose of uh, and what is the good that comes out of controlling the ball if you cannot uh, make chances if you cannot get shots on target if you cannot score at the end But possession-wise, of course, it is good that you are controlling the ball. Uh, let's just hope that Ullen will find ways to to make their uh, ball possession and to convert them with convert it with uh, chances, with shots on goals, with with a lot of goals, because. We are watching this to see goals scored, to see beautiful football and at the moment teams are trying their best to open the score. Both teams have had chances to do that. 
and now it's a throw in for T. Mullen at the defensive side of the field for them from their point of view. So for those of you who have just turned in, I will remind that you are watching Riga Cup 2017 under 15 age group, so none of the players are older than 15 years of age. And the first game of this tournament in Group C, uh, Team Tallinn Akalev in blue uniforms are playing against Team Ullern from Team Ullern from Norway, and now it's a foul for foul for Tallinn team, and then Ullern again. Team Ullern, a chance to attack, and they are doing it slowly, moving higher and higher up the field. Uh, playing uh, defenders passing the ball around and now goal goalkeeper is involved as well passing it back to goalkeeper as we can see and Ullern and now with a longer through ball ch uh, chance which is which is successful throw in for Ullern which is taken too quickly and not by the rules, so Team Tallinn now will retake this throw in once again. And again the ball is with Team Tallinn. Uh, trying a through ball. And Ullern saves this episode once again with the nice actions from defenders. And now it's a foul again for Team Talon Keller. So Ullen with a fast free kick and a short, short free kick still. And continuing the short passing, patient style of football, trying to find some gaps in the defense on which they can try to use now a long pass for a header is a little bit too long and this possession ends with team Ullern losing the ball and fouling after that as we can see quick a free kick for team Tallinn and again a foul for team Ullern team Tallinn uh, still with the free kick and the possession And as I mentioned before this game, if you have some questions, comments, anything you would like to ask or say, uh, you can do that in the live chat section of this YouTube stream. Moments ago we saw the for real chance for, really good chance for Team Tallinn to score, to open the score. Uh, they will have another one with this corner now, but the last chance the goalkeeper for Team Norway, uh, for Team Ullern from Norway uh, saved it. So uh, I will try to uh, check this live chat section to help you uh, to answer your questions and an answer for Genius XPVP, which asked who plays at the YouTube channel. Uh, Team Ullern from Norway in white uniforms playing against Team Tallinn Kallo from Estonia in blue uniforms. Uh, first game in uh, Group C at this tournament. And in this live stream from this arena you will see 8 games from from 8 teams. Uh, two, two, 2 games for each team then. Uh, in the group C and D of this tournament so if you are a fan of uh, teams playing in groups A or B you will need to find the other stream from Skonto Hall and you can do that by locating the main YouTube page of Riga Cup the same 
Riga Cup that you are watching this stream on, you need to maintain their, uh, you need to find their uh, channel and there you will see two streams, one from Olympic Center which is this one and one from Skonto Hall which is the other one where groups A and B are playing the first match day uh, first two games for each team in that group you will see there but turning in uh, to this game uh, still a scoreless tie 0-0 uh, zero zero. first half is about uh, 20 minutes in so about 5 minutes still to play about 5 minutes still to play and uh, the score is still tied and unopened now team Tallinn with the chance to do it in the box a mistake by a defender but a defender other defender clears this ball off the goal line so first real chance 100% uh, chance for team Tallinn remains unused still the score is 0-0 and a uh, corner kick now for team Tallinn Kalev from Estonia uh, only defenders in the box to clear the ball uh, from the box and a free kick now for team Ullen because of the foul for team Tallinn Uh, at the moment we uh, I cannot tell you the, the names of the players which are playing because I don't have a protocol at my hands uh, let's hope uh, for the second half that uh, it will change but I will try to do my best for you to uh, understand what is uh, going on in this game and right now Tallinn is fighting for possession a long throw ball attempt is wasted Timo Lenz goalkeeper gets the ball comes out of the goal posts and now Team Ullern is struggling to get the ball forward and loses it. So Team Tallinn still with possession but not for long because Team Ullern steals the ball once again. Once again Team Ullern with a chance now in their opponent's side of the field. And again none of the teams can maintain possession at the moment for a longer period of time. And the ball is changing its owner its owning team uh, pretty quickly and now it's a foul foul for foul for team Tallinn foul for team Tallinn as the referee shows us and team Ullern will have the ball the free kick is taken but right now it looks like team Ullern are struggling to move forward playing the ball back to defenders defenders are playing pretty high at the midfield at the moment that is the tactics for team Ullern let's see if these tactics will bring them success in this game at the moment uh, one real chance for Team Ullern and one real chance, real dangerous chance for Team uh, Tallinn to score. So we are tied at this, at this statistic of the game as well. More corners for Team Tallinn, three against one, four against one, yes. Sorry, four against one, four corners for Tallinn, one for Ullern. But no goals for neither of team of teams and 
Still Team Ulan controlling the ball, controlling the play, but it is just the control of possession because chances are not being created as much as Team Ulan would want it. Let's see if they will be able to be successful with patience and discipline uh, rather than with risks. So uh, clear offside here for Team Muller, no real danger for Team Estonia. No discussions there, the player was offside by a mile and, and now a long free kick attempt from a goalkeeper ends up in the hands of the other goalkeeper and Team Ullern still with the ball still controlling it and now passing it a bit longer than usual and loses the ball Team Tallinn gets the possession now back and Team Tallinn Kalev in the midfield and they lose the ball as well so counter attack from Team Ullern now maybe um, it can be more dangerous. Gets the ball in the box, but the defender plays. Uh, plays uh, as from the book, as we can say. Uh, perfect defense for Team Talink, a uh, defender. Um, but still, the ball leaves the field and no foul. Yes, a foul there. Foul. Uh, for once, I thought that a referee was gonna let this one go. A clear foul there. Uh, but a free kick for Team Tallinn after this fall. And again Team Tallinn with the ball. Trying to maintain the ball in the field and does it good. A chance for a cross for Tallinn. Crosses it low on the other wing. Again a low cross and the defenders clear the ball. So, oh, what a chance. What a chance by Tallinn. But a striker misses this shot, misses this ball misses this chance and the first half as we can see is over a scoreless die on the scoreboard uh, 25 minutes or, or the first half is played and we will return after a short break for the second half of this game and we are back for the second half of the game where Team Ullern from Norway uh, playing against Team Talen Kello from Estonia. Second half about to start, first half ended in a scoreless tie. So the second will start with the same score of course. And this is the first game of the first day of the tournament, so an opening game for Group B. Or group B. If you are a fan of uh, fan of teams in playing in group A and B, sorry, this is group C. Yes, this is group C. So if you are a fan of groups A teams for from groups A or B, you will need to find the other stream, other live stream from other arenas, Conto Hall. So. What you have to do is, you have to find Riga Cup uh, YouTube homepage. And uh, there will, you will see two live streams, you have to locate the other one from Skonto Hall and there will you, you will see groups A and B are playing. So eight games today from this arena, eight from another, uh, total of 16 teams playing their first two of uh, three group stage games. And some misunderstandings there from the referees and uh, once again a substitution is needed to be made for team Talon Kello. Uh, 
cannot tell you why but still team Kalo now with the ball starting it from their own side of the field And the game continues, now the possession is with team Ullern, who uh, control the ball more than their opponents in the first half of the game, but the count of uh, real dangerous chances created was equal, so uh, no, uh, no big difference from uh, the possessioning, uh, possessioning statistics, positioning with the ball at this game uh, despite the fact that Tullern controlled about 70 percent of the possession and nothing good really came out of it so steam uh, still the game is scoreless the game is tied and uh, for those of you who are not Oh, what a chance now, uh, Ullern is, Team Ullern makes a mistake and leaves Team Tallinn one-on-one -on -one with the keeper and the attacker tries to chip the keeper but chips the goal as well so uh, ball goes over the bar still a score, scoreless game and now we can say that uh, team Tallinn, despite having uh, less lesser possession, less of possession in this game, have made more uh, dangerous chances than their opponents. Uh, none of the teams have been able to score yet, but uh, my guess is that uh, that will uh, soon change. I would uh, bet on the fact that we will see a goal in this game maybe even more than one but let's let's see if my predictions are all right and now a foul now a foul for team Ullern will it be a penalty or will it be a free kick it's for the referee to decide And the referee shows that it was outside the box, at the edge of the box, uh, and it will be a free uh, kick. A still dangerous possession, not the penalty, but still and dangerously close to the to the goal. And with a successful cross, Talon has another chance to open the score. Crosses it in, and only defenders there to clear the ball. Uh, they are struggling to do it for a moment, but now it resolves the situation and uh, clears the ball uh, from the danger. So Team Muller now with the possession, trying to move forward. Maybe a counter-attack. Let's see. And the counter-attack, this pass is blocked. Still the possession with Team Muller. Still playing patiently, not risking, not rushing, but as we can see, these short passes uh, can be unsuccessful as well, and this one ends right in the hands of the goalkeeper. So Team Tallinn from Estonia. Uh, for those of you who have just tuned in, Team Tallinn from Estonia, Tallinn Kalo from Estonia playing in blue uniforms uh, against Team Ullern from Norway in white uniforms. Uh, score is still tied at uh, zeros, so scoreless game. And it is the second half, about uh, seven minutes in this half. In this tournament, uh, group, in this age group format, we are 
playing two 25 minute halves so it means about 18 minutes left in the second half of the game and uh, if the score is draw at the group stage it counts as a draw no overtimes no penalties no nothing uh, In the playoff round, if the scores are tied after regulation time, we will go straight to a penalty shootout, no overtime, and the penalty shootout will be in a formation of uh, best of three. Uh, as we can see, this shot is way over the bar, so another chance for Team Muller and Wasted, and goal kick for Team Tallinn Kalov. Uh, what I started to say, we have, will have a penalty shootout of uh, in the format uh, best of three, so three penalties for each team if the score is tied after these three, then we will go to a sudden death situation, so one penalty for each team till the first mistake. That gets us the difference in the score, but uh, still Still a time left for the playoff round, so uh, let's not uh, rush uh, things. We'll see first playoff games uh, tomorrow evening. And a foul. A foul here for Team Ullern and a yellow card for number 19 in Team Ullern. I cannot tell you his uh, this player's name because I still don't have a protocol. Let's hope I will have it for, if not this game, then the second one. So the yellow card. Uh, first yellow card in this game for Team Ullern. The end not because of the foul, but uh, because of the emotions after the foul our player did everything possible not to agree with the referee's decision and and he was uh, booked because of the talking not because of the doing as we can say But still, uh, returning to the uh, progression of this game, still the ball changes its owners uh, pretty quick. Uh, teams are uh, switching with switching possession uh, without a real uh, chance making at the moment. And now Team Ullern with the ball. The formation of this uh, tournament is the same as uh, as it was a week and a two week uh, weeks ago when under 14 and under 13 age groups were playing. Uh, still uh, 16 teams in total, four groups by four teams in each group. Group C and D uh, playing here in this Olympics, Olympic Sports Center. And now a chance for uh, Team Ullern once again and the goalkeeper steps into play, saves this ball and starts a counter-attack. So what I started to say, uh, 16 teams, four teams in four groups. Group C and D playing here in this live stream from Olympic Center. Groups A and B uh, playing in the other arena in Skonto Hall. You can uh, find a stream from that as well. All you have to do is locate the Ring a Cup a YouTube homepage and and you can see two live streams there you can tune in the second one as well from Skonto Hall there you will see A and B teams uh, A and B group teams playing and now the corner kick for Team Ullern crosses it in and uh, not without danger but uh, Tallinn 
Team Tallinn clears it and now a goalkeeper with a long long pass attempt uh, which is which is stopped by Team Olen's defenders who take the ball and now trying to get on the attack uh, by my watch it's about uh, 12 minutes left on uh, this game And now the ball leaves the field for a goal kick for Team Ullern. For those of you who have just tuned in, I will remind that you are watching Riga Cup 2017 under 15 age group tournament. Uh, and uh, first game of group C, first game of today as well. Uh, Team Ullern from uh, Norway are playing against Team Tallinn Kalo from Estonia. Team Ullern uh, in white uniforms, Tallinn, uh, Team Tallinn Kalo in uh, blue uniforms. Uh, still uh, the score is uh, tied uh, at zeros, a scoreless game uh, for now. And about, about 10 to 12 minutes still left in this game. And uh, now it will be uh, substitution and after that team Talon Kalo will have a throw in will have a ball and now the possession changes over no it doesn't just the throw in needs to be needs to be retaken and after the second attempt still uh, players passing the ball around uh, possession for no one and now Team Ullern with a counter attack nice skill dribbling by Team Ullern and once again a chance and uh, and the defenders are up to it to clear this ball and after this long shot uh, which was uh, far from Far from dangerous by Team Mullen, a goal kick for Team Talon Kalev. And still the ball is passed around in the midfield. Uh, True ball attempt is no good for Team Talil. Talon Kalev, Mullen still with this ball. And the ball leaves the field from uh, Team Ullern and Kalev, uh, Team Tallinn Kalev with the possession still. Uh, throw-ins, a lot of throw-ins for Team Tallinn and this one is very very unsuccessful. So, so again, so again Team Ullern with with this ball and now Team Ullern on the counter attack one on one with the keeper but the shot is uh, too powerless and Team Ullern Team Ullern once again the chance which was saved by a goalkeeper as we can see and now after an attack attempt from Estonian team Tallinn Kalev Olen with the free kick because of the uh, offside And again team uh, Kalev now with the ball trying to move forward nice skill dribbling but a nice action from team Ullern's uh, defenders as well so 
Still Team Ullern with the possession, with the chance now, and this shot on goal is blocked by Tal Talin Caleb defenders. And now Ullern again with the tech chance for a cross. Uh, this cross is cleared outside the line for a, a corner kick. So corner kick now for Team Ullern. And still uh, the scoreless game with with uh, chances enough chances for both teams but none of these chances have have been converted into a score still a scoreless uh, scoreless game and now it's a first goal it's a first goal a lot of players there in the box a lot of defenders trying to clear the ball but the first goal of the game for team Ullern team Ullern takes the lead with about uh, seven minutes left in this game one to nothing team Ullern from Norway uh, is now in the lead the first goal of the game comes seven minutes uh, short of the end of the game so uh, not much time left for team uh, Tallinn to uh, get it back uh, not to lose points in this game and a mistake now for team Ullern and a foul uh, for team Ullern so a free kick now for Tallinn Kalev tries to uh, cross it in the box still and the ball is crossed in by team Talin Kalev and now they are trying desperately to go go get ahead and get a chance to score but uh, in this attempt is unsuccessful at that And the yellow card here for Tallinn Kaleo player about a substitution that was not concluded with referee. So just a wild substitution in the middle of the game without a without a pause. <laughs> it, so still a yellow card for the Talent Kalo player and the ball will be in team with team Ullern with a chance to attack once again and offside offside this time yeah the referee's whistle came late but it was offside and the free kick now for team Tallinn about five minutes by my clock Unfortunately, I cannot tell you the precise time left in this game because we don't have a, a scoreboard turned in. Uh, maybe that will change for the uh, next games, but at least for now the referee is the only person who knows the remaining time uh, precisely in this game. I can tell you only by uh, my feelings the time that is left about five minutes I would say for Team Tallinn to get the goal back they are one down Team Ullern uh, scored the first goal about two three minutes ago so late in the game and are now in the lead one to nothing again playing dangerously on the edge of the blade uh, but being successful at that at least for now Team Ullern defensive line uh, needs to work on the fact that, uh, not to make their uh, defensive uh, passing to become a danger for them and now a chance for a cross it ends up in the hands of the goalkeeper for team Mullen and team Talon Kalev trying to attack trying to play it 
long, playing longer passes now, more risky passes. They uh, have nothing now uh, to lose because they need to get forward, they need to risk more. They are one down and uh, in this uh, short tournament forward where group stage uh, will consist of only three games for each team, three opponents. And again chance now for Team Tallinn but the defenders for Team Ullern are blocking the balls uh, pretty nicely. And now a corner kick, corner kick for Tallinn Kalev. Now maybe this is one of their last chances to get the goal back to level the score and to save a point in this game. Crosses it in, header is wide of the target and the defenders for team for team Ullern playing playing at their best uh, for today I mean there uh, has been some mistakes from defenders but who hasn't got them uh, mistakes are what makes you uh, perfect as I would say and again one more shot on goal for team Tallinn Kalev which are trailing by one they need to get the goal back and now the corner for team Tallinn and the goalkeeper uh, of team Tallinn is coming to help is coming inside the box and uh, almost scores the goal as we can see nice work for the goalkeeper of team Tallinn in the box but unfortunately unsuccessfully and still the score remains one to nothing team learn from Norway in the lead and just a couple of minutes left in the second half of this game and again opportunity for team Ullern now and goalkeeper saves this uh, attempt on goal and now Tallinn Kalev with the ball in the midfield loses it and again Ullen crosses it in uh, but the cross is too long and three whistles uh, sounds uh, referee ends the game team Ullen from Norway have won it one to nothing uh, first win for team Ullern from Norway uh, team Tallinn Kalev from Estonia still uh, with no points after the first game and the next game uh, 